Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. Assalamualaikum. My name is Asan, and today we are going to add request to code button in WooCommerce Group plugin. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So we are in dashboard. On left side, you see plugins. So click on add new. So we are going to install plugin. In search plugin, write YITH request a code for WooCommerce. So this is plugin we will use. So click on install now. And then click on activate it. So plugin is activated now. This is our shop page. And go to dashboard. On left side you see YITH request a code. So click on it. Now you see general option. And in general option you see hide add to cart button. If you want you can hide button. If you want you can hide prices also. Now you see add to cart position on single product page in line with add to cart or underneath. So you can select position according to your requirement. Now you see after click on add to cart the user. Then you see two options. See the link to access the cart request list. And another option is automatically redirected to the cart request list. So you can select option according to your requirement and then click on save option and then you see button and label so you can change text also you can change design also and also if you want you can button or text link and then you can change text here and then you see request code page so click on it in request code page you see request a code page so you can create a page or select page from the drop down list so this is short code so you can add this short code to any page and then you see page layout product list on left side from on right side or product list above form below so select product list on left side and form on right side and then you see show update list button text and privacy enable and then you see i have read and agree to website term and condition and request a code privacy policy and then click on save option now go to shop page and this is our shop so open any product and then you see add to code button so click on it then you see product added to the list and browse the list so when you click on it then it's open request a page so click on browse the list so it's open request code page and here you see product and send the request form so go back to dashboard and in general option here you see after click on add to code the user then see the link to access the code requested list and another option is automatically redirected to the code requested list when we enable this and save option so open any product again like this click on product and then click on add to code button then it redirected to request a code page automatically so in this way you can add request a code button in woocommerce i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching